All right. Hello, everyone. Hope you're having a good week so far. Monday. Only another four days until we make it to the weekend. <laughs> if you recall in my last video, I was having issues with increasing the font size with the keybinds in Xterm. And I've decided to use Xterm as my default terminal here on Void Linux. And also, if you recall in that last video, I said it worked fine. I didn't have to do anything special in Mio Linux for the keybinds to increase the font size or decrease them while, you know, using Xterm. But it didn't work that way in Void Linux. And a couple of days after I made that video and released it, I was searching around on the internet and found a website uh, that gave me something to add to my X resources file. So let me show you my X resources file. And I will show you what those lines are. And let me increase the font so it'll be a little easier to see. And here is what I added. This is what was on that website. And after I did that and updated my X resources file, uh, I could increase and decrease the font size in X term. So let's just test that out. Boom, 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 and boom, boom, boom. So there we go. That works. You can use either the Alt key or you can use the Windows key. I was using the Alt key that time. Let's do it with the Windows key. There we go. So now we have it. It's working. Hooray! Um, if I can find that website, I will link to it. I will also try to... Um, let me close this window. I'll try to include these... Uh, lines that you can add to your X resources file and you just need to remember to update your X resources file whenever you add, uh, edit, change, whatever your .x resources file. Now I will say this, I got an email from my friend Mulder today and he linked me to a video and you see how many lines I have here? Um, there's five, nine lines. He linked me to a video that only had, I think, like three lines. Now, I haven't tried it yet. I might try that and just see if it works. Because, I mean, the less the less you have to do, the better it might be. I don't know. Less is, I don't know. <laughs> but this does work. So, just wanted to let you guys know I found a solution, and we will see how it works with the other, um, the other lines from that video. I'll also link to that video that Mulder gave me, just in case you want to go ahead and try it out, because with my time limited as it is, I may not be able to, you know, try it out and then produce another video to say, hey, this works. <laughs> but there you go. Also, I've been playing around with the Void Make Live scripts, and I produced my own base LXDE system. I haven't had time to try to figure out how to customize it, you know, where it, it looks better than just the base system. But it's actually very easy to make your own base ISO. And of course, you can add with with what I have discovered so far. You can add whatever packages from Void you want, and it'll be included in that ISO. And then you can install it. So I thought that was really neat. Um, to me, so far, um, it's the easiest way to make an ISO. 
it's easier than refracta. It's easier than easier than using uh, the Debian tools. Um, I don't want to say this, but it's easier than uh, <laughs> any other way I've ever tried to make an ISO. However, as I said, I have not um, delved into the scripts that much to try to figure out how much work has to be done to actually customize it. So that being said, it may not be easier <laughs> once all that gets figured out. Now, am I ever going to release void-based Neo Linux ISOs? Probably not. Unless I just get, you know, a little wackadoodle and decide to do it. But that's it. Um, I figured out, thanks to the website, I figured out how to increase and decrease the font size in Xterm. So there you go. You guys have a great rest of the week and take care. Thanks. Thank you.